Tonight you're wondering why I have this plain envelope on the table. On the other side is my address, but this is from Synergy Marketing, P.O. Box 340, Caddis, New York, and basically in the 80s, 90s, and maybe early 2000s, males would get these magazines in, the, in these plain wrapped uh, things in the mail as an incentive to order Playboy magazine. Something a lot of people don't say anymore because they say, oh, I can just get it downloaded and pour it off the, off the internet. There was a certain magic about monthly getting this magazine of tech, stories. The stories were wrote a lot by Stephen King, Ray Bradbury, some of the greats of sci-fi, fantasy, and horror. Even James Bond started in this magazine. But, as time progressed, people lost interest in it. And they took the nudity out, and then the magazine, I'm not sure if it's still in circulation anymore, but this is like an artifact within itself, because I found it when I was cleaning up uh, stuff. And this one is Playboy Presents the 50 Beautiful Women, a special collector's edition. So let's see who's inside this. You have Maude Adams, Ursula Andrews, Penny Baker, Bridget Bardot, um, Sonia Braga, Catherine Devane, Bo Derek, Farrah Fawcett's in it. Is Jane Seymour part of it? Ooh, Donna Mills is in it. Charlotte Rompling. The Late Vanity, Sharon Tweed, Vanna White. But this is for that time. Let's see if there's any pictures in here I can show you that won't get us into trouble. There's one, a good example of, let's see if there's others that are tastefully done. They have minimal to no nudity or nudity I can cover with my fingers. There's one, right there. Olia Davos sister. There's Farah, as you can see. Janet Jones. This one should be okay, because side boob never hurts, because even Peter Griffin did an entire episode about side boob. Marilyn. Vanna. But you get these in the mail once a year and you're going, wow, I'm glad I ordered Playboy magazine. When in actuality you're looking at it and go, wow, that's kind of small. It's just a supplement. 
it, enti it enticed us into subscribing. And then when we get it, you go, wow, it's not as good as the five ninety nine magazine you would get, which is a collection of, of spreads and everything else throughout the year. Of different, uh, they're like annuals, mini annuals every year, every few months. But you would get one of these every time you renewed your subscription or we're just starting a subscription for all the people who don't know what this is. But I just wanted to share it because it's a part of lost history in in film and photography and because the reason I say photography and film because a lot of the Playboy photos were taken by famous photographers, not just stock photographers. Because um, you have to wanted the best, and you got the best. But until next time, this is the sounding board, signing off.